everyone, and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri, and we are here right at the front of the Gardens of Bobalon. And uh, we're actually not going to be continuing on with building our way up to the Snow Leopard habitat. Oh my gosh. Just thinking about the job we're going to need to do there is kind of humbling. And we are not actually going to be spending time feeding our wonderful goat, Graveler. Graveler, how are you doing? Uh, have some oak saplings, my dear. Oh my gosh, she just chomped those down like nothing. That's amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. Instead, my friends, I am here to get Pine and Iris, our puppies. Hi, you two. Pine, are you hanging over at the Harvest of Ice? Oh, it's such a beautiful tree. Kristen planted that years ago. Oh, and Iris, I'm glad that you guys have been doing so good. Ah, but I wanted to gather these two loyal puppers so that we have some company today, my friends, as we go ahead and prepare to hopefully, wrong bag, hopefully hatch the toucan eggs. Dun, 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 dun! Oh my gosh, after all of the adventuring that we have done, after all of the hard work we have done, after the way that building a ramp up to the snow leopard habitat led to the gardens of Babylon, that led to Henry drowning, that led to us rushing over there, that led to all sorts of other adventures, that eventually turned into the gardens, like the, the, the treetop gardens for Tata, -ta, that turned into realizing we don't have toucan eggs. We are ready. We're going to do this. So, all right, you guys know how we got here by now. Aster Seed, you stay here. Pine, Iris, you guys good to go? Let me go ahead. We're going to fill up on some supreme vegan pizza. Nifty. And let's go, guys. I am actually so excited to go ahead and hopefully hatch this toucan egg. The way it's going to work is, oh gosh, and I really need to clear all of this out at some point in the future. Holy cow, we'll clean up those gardens in the future. But the way that this is going to work is that we are actually going to come on over. Oh, there's so many hummingbird eggs. I'm going to need to take care of these hummingbird eggs. And we're not just going to throw the toucan eggs on the ground. <gasps> Authorized oologist only, please. Finally, I have a bag full of precious cargo here. So many different bird eggs that we have been collecting that definitely need to come and find their homes here. Also, look at all these feathers. Where did these even come from? I got so many different types of feathers that I can use to make like really interesting penguin hats. Maybe if I just collect them, we could have our researchers use them to possibly find some penguins because we really didn't see very many penguins when we were flying around either. Somewhat concerning. Uh, but all right, we're here. We are here, friends, with little Shelly. Shelly, I have so much to share with you. It's going to be amazing. All right, Iris, go ahead and sit. And then whenever, whenever, Desiree, have you seen our good boy, Pine? All right. Oh, there he is. Good job, Pine. All right, you two sit there. Let me go ahead and clear my bag out of things that we don't need at the moment. I might need the safari net. I do not need these mystery feathers. I guess this is a good place to leave them, though. I mean, yeah, I guess the Oologist Egg Research Center would be- Oh, geez, that's a lot of seeds. I guess this would be a good spot to, like, leave a bunch of mystery feathers. Um, oh, we have a whole bunch of nests for the the little the little flame chicken area. We might need another flame chicken, to be honest, guys. Because I need more blaze powder if we're going to make this happen the way that I really hope it will. Uh, Alright, let's leave the mystery eggs in here. There we go. And I don't need all this stuff out at the moment. I do want some apples in case I get hungry. We have the robin that we actually caught over next to the black bear exhibit. And I do want to actually give the robin a wonderful little spot to kind of nest so that we can study her and get some robin eggs from her. <sighs> but the time has come. Let's gather up all of the eggs, including the phoenix egg <gasps> that we collected on the Grand Eggs Petition. Shelly, look at this. You're going to be so impressed. It is like, oh, I know, right, right, right. Look at all these eggs. Look at this one. It's an ostrich egg. It's practically the size of you. It's amazing. But we want to take good care of these eggs because some of them I don't think we even have had yet. Uh, like, I, I don't have any blue jays. But I do have a blue jay egg over here. 
Yeah, we want to take a little bit of caution. There's a lot of penguin eggs over here. Pigeon eggs. Swan eggs we've got before. Uh, I probably want to sort these, but let's go ahead and put all of them but the toucan eggs away for just a second and see. Wow, look how many new eggs we have. Holy cow. So many eggs. So many new eggs. All right, there's the toucan eggs. We want to be very careful. And the phoenix egg, I don't even know... I don't even know how to shake a stick at the phoenix egg. We're just going to gently put it right here with some of the phoenix dust around it to protect its little eggshell. And now what we are going to do, friends, is we are going to come over. We have blue jay and roadrunner eggs, pigeons and kingfisher eggs here. There we go. And we're going to put the unidentified eggs in here so that we can start identifying these and seeing if we have another rare type of egg. And Shelly, we are going to study the toucan eggs! <gasps> okay, this is going to be really exciting. I really want to keep making the egg siding pun, to be honest. Uh, but I want to be ready for this. So, <sighs> we have a couple very important things to do to take care of these little toucan eggs before we actually try to hatch them. We want to make sure that we have prepared ourselves for the responsibility of bringing toucans into the world, Shelley. Especially because after all of that adventuring, the huge month of adventure that we had, we only ended up with five toucan eggs. They're pretty viable. They have about a 60% chance of spawning a toucan, but that is not a 100% chance, my friends. And we want to guarantee a 100% chance. So that brings us to the egg incubator we're going to come over and we are going to fill up the egg incubator with some let's line these little guys right up we're going to fill up the egg incubator with some blaze powder so let's come over we're going to grab half a stack of blaze powder this is why we might have to work with shelly to get another blaze chicken at some point in the future uh, by giving her some diamond coins because i kind of am gonna need more blaze chickens we can breed them if we have blaze rods, but somehow poor Flair is the only blaze chicken that I have left. Uh, but let's come over here. Put in the blaze powder. And now the blaze powder will slowly warm up the egg incubator. Do not worry, we are not cooking the eggs. This is merely gently warming it up. One of the best mods ever out there. Pavo made magic happen with what he was able to do. Look at this. Slowly and surely. And we should go to 65%, yes! Okay, we're gonna leave those until all five of our little eggs have a 100% chance of hatching. And let's look in our bird encyclopedia to try to prepare ourselves for toucans. Toucans are medium-sized jungle birds with an enormous bill, which, despite its size, is very lightweight. A toucan's diet ranges from fruit to insects to stolen eggs. The female is smaller than the male and chooses a nest site that the male cannot enter. That is so cool! You can breed them with seeds! We don't just need to have eggs! Oh, that's exciting. I have tons of seeds, so we might be about to have entire flocks of toucans. <gasps> Maybe we should make entire wild flocks of toucans just roaming around our jungle area. That would be so cool! Then I would never worry about, like, finding more eggs again. Uh, there are three types of toucans, I think. Let me see. That just rotates, yeah. Yes, there are three types of toucan that actually come with the beautiful, wonderful, can't say enough wonderful things about it, Exotic Birds mod too. And there's many different types of toucan, as you guys probably have noticed from the insights that we have been doing, telling you all those fantastic toucan facts for quite a while now. Uh, if you didn't see some of them, I had quite a flurry of them, of, like many, many episodes ago that you can definitely check out at the end of the video. Tons of fun toucan facts. I learned a lot about toucans. Like the way that their bill is lightweight is because a lot of it is actually very hollow. Uh, and it uses sort of like a construction, sort of like a bridge has struts. 
that's kind of the way where they have like hard outer long shells and then struts inside of their beak to make it very lightweight. It is not like a rhino horn where it's solid all the way through. It actually has hollow pockets that allow it to be such a big beak on a bird that is only for about like the bigger variants like the toko toucan, which is the one that everybody's familiar with because it's the one that looks like this, black and white with an orange beak. Those guys, I learned, are only about the size of a crow. They're a lot smaller than I thought. I was thinking like the size of a hawk or an eagle uh, to carry that big beak. But they're only about the size of like an American crow and then stick that beak on. And a lot of the toucanets are the toucan like family member species that have different colored beaks and range in a huge variety of different colors are even smaller than that. So these guys are tinier than you would assume, Miss Shelly. Oh, Shelly, are you doing the investigating? Oh, we ran out of blaze powder, Shelly. I will go ahead and get more. Excellent, excellent deduction, Shelly. We have one more mystery egg to see and then, oh, she's so curious about like what's in here. And then we will have to see what eggs we ended up with. But my goodness gracious, like if they can be bred with seeds, we might just go ahead and like have our toucan family over at the treetop tour. But I wonder if we can just breed up tons of toucans in the jungle and sprinkle nests all over the place and then occasionally go through our jungle and just find nests that will hopefully by chance have toucan eggs in them that would be so cool we might have to do that that'd be really fun all right shelly are you ready let's go ahead and analyze the results you're right okay so unfortunately, we ended up with quite a lot from the looks of it of eggshells from those mystery eggs. So we did lose a lot of eggs in the experiment. However, we have another blue jay egg. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, booby eggs! These are adorable little birds that I would definitely love to have down by a beach area. We have a parrot egg, a woodpecker egg, two kingfisher eggs, and a kiwi egg. So once again, we still didn't end up with a toucan egg, which makes me so nervous. Oh my gosh, they're a lot harder to get our hands on than we would think. However, let's check the egg incubator. It's still... <gasps> they're done! A 100% chance of hatching our toucans. <gasps> Shelly, this is so exciting. I already have the chamber prepared. Okay, okay, okay. Are you guys ready for this? <gasps> what if we have twins? Oh, that's the inside of my head, all right. What if we have twins or triplets? That would be so exciting. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for all your hard work, Flair. I will try to get you a Blaze Chicken Buddy soon because holy days, this is wonderful. Let's do this. Baby Toucan. <gasps> Baby Toucan! Baby Toucan! Baby Toucan! It's so much smaller than I thought it would be. It is so much smaller than I thought it would be. I want to get it some jungle, some jungle leaves to stand on. Oh my gosh, it's a baby toucan! Hello, little one! Hi, you're my very first toucanette! You are so tiny! No wonder I couldn't find you! Holy cow! Please don't go in the grass! Thank you! I will get you some, some branches to go on in just a second. Toucanette number two. Oh my gosh, that was triplets. We have six baby toucans! Oh, this is so exciting! Holy cow, I need to go and get them some jungle leaves, like, immediately. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We had two sets of triplets, and that just resulted in ten toucans! Holy cow, this is a lot more toucans than I thought we would have. I need to be very careful not to let them out. Oh dear, I've let them out. Oh dear, I've really let them out. Oh my, hang in there little buddy. Oh my gosh, we have a baby toucan. In you go guys. Oh my goodness guys. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, so here's the plan. We're going to keep them here until they are grown up. I'm going to go and get some jungle leaves like right now so that they have something to sit on top of. And then we are going to uh, maybe keep a breeding pair. I think we'll keep the breeding pair at the treetop tour site and put in a nest and maybe a fruit bowl there for them. And the others, 
we might, if we have a breeding pair, we might go ahead and release some of the toucans. I think to the wild? I think we'll keep one or two, uh, definitely for exhibits. Maybe we'll make like a mini exhibit. I just don't want to lose our toucans, but we have so many already. I would love to see them roam the zoo wild. <gasps> that would be so fun. Oh my gosh, do I have any leaves that I can give them? I do not. Uh, I do have some beautiful moss I could put on their walls if I wanted to, but I think only I am one of the ones who think that, you know, abundance of moss is beautiful. All right, well, let's actually go up to our storage chamber really quickly. I think we can actually grab one of... Hello, Bella. I see you in your lab in the distance over here. Uh, yeah, in our storage chamber... Oh, <gasps> another unidentified egg! Thank you, Experiment 404! I will happily analyze and see what this is. Oh, this is so exciting. Baby toucans, baby toucans. What do you call a group of baby toucans? Who knows? Who knows? All right, here we go. All right, Quilvenshi, how are you doing? How are you doing, my dear? I really need to get a fruit bowl, if you please. Uh, thank you very much. Apparently that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. You uh, have abundant amounts of clay and definitely abundant amounts of all of the dyes that you need to make this happen. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. And then leaves. I'm pretty sure all of my leaves and greenery would be up in the plant sorting shed. But it was worth it to just kind of take a peek in here. And let's go get some jungle leaves for the babies. I really love how we have multiple ways of exploring the zoo so that I can start getting around the place a lot faster. Oh, and I'm going to need to get my feather falling. Uh, oops, there we go. I'm going to need to get my feather falling booties back on if we're headed over to the treetop tour for sure. All right, jungle leaves. There we are. I think that's all I really... Maybe one jungle sapling or like one jungle wood or two. Yeah, we'll take a little bit of jungle wood as well. And jeez, ah, I, I mean... I guess we can make a toucan pavilion. And Lala, I will take your eggs down to the researchers as usual. I know you very much like that. Uh, but I guess we can make like a little toucan pavilion as well. But let's get our breeding pair of toucans settled in in the treetop tours and making sure that they can like safely lay eggs and have a happy nest so that we know we will have a permanent source of toucan eggs. We should probably keep several of the- did I get another? Nope, just one identified egg. We should probably keep several of the toucan eggs in the Zoology Research Center just to take good care of them and keep an eye on them. You know, always have backups. We'll even warm them up so it'll be 100% chance of hatching toucans. We went through so much to get these little ones. <gasps> and now look at them! Hello, little guys! Welcome to the family! Let me go ahead and get you all some places to sit so that you can be nice and happy. Absolutely, please do not, like, drown on leaves, if that's even possible somehow. Let me get you some spots. There you are, little ones. Please don't suffocate in these. I would highly appreciate just, just you enjoy. I'm gonna try not to make too many so that you still have places that you can, you can kind of sit. There you are. There you go, a little bush. Probably would feel a lot safer, not being quite so out in the open, I thought. Uh, hopefully that's true. I have just helped one of you escape. Maybe if I'm out of the room for a minute, they'll all calm down a bit more. All right. Well, there we go, guys. Oh, that looks much better. Yeah, now they're settling down. Now they're settling down. Okay, and come here, you. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, what am I going to name these little ones? I want to name them after after fruits of the jungle, but I also don't have any name tags, so... Oh dear. Oh my. Alright. Well, this is my life now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining me as we hatched our tons of toucans. Tens of toucans, even, because we literally got ten out of five eggs, which is fantastic ratios, if you ask me, Shelly. Uh, truly unlikely, because, the, like, twins and triplets and things like that don't really happen with birds. Oh, dear. Uh, not, in, not in eggs, usually. Uh, sometimes, but very infrequently. 
Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for our wonderful tiny toucans. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, you know what to do. And of course, most importantly, stay curious. Bye guys!